Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to another video. It is currently, let me check the time. It is 8.23 a.m. and it is Friday. Luca is at school, George is at work, and Alex is sleeping. Alex always wakes up super early, but we've had such a busy week over the last few days that I guess he just needed to sleep. And Leo is just here in the room watching TV for a little bit. I have been trying to limit screen time as much as possible because I started to feel really guilty with how much screen time the boys were having while I was getting every ow, while I was getting everything together for the visa. So I've been trying to limit it. So we've been doing a lot of things, but we're taking the day off and we're probably just gonna stay home today. So I'm gonna let him watch some TV today. But I decided to pick up the camera and just vlog over the last few days. I haven't vlogged in about two weeks, so I just felt like doing so. So let's hang out over the next few days and see what we get into. I am going to be doing a lot of these, especially when we're in Spain. If you missed it, we are moving to Spain. And I'm still going to be saying that because I keep getting messages from people saying, wait, you're moving to Spain? What? What did I miss? I missed some chapters. So we're moving to Spain. I do have a whole video where I'm talking all about the move and just announcing it. The last time I vlogged, I had a two day trip, I believe it was. Yeah, it was a two day trip to Newark and a lot has happened ever since. The day that I got home from my trip, I ended up getting food poisoning. I haven't had po food poisoning in years, so it was miserable. The, I, so I was sick Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday I was fine and then Thursday I got sick and I've been fighting this cold ever since. Like I don't feel sick but I feel like congested and I have a headache. I've had this like dry cough and I already tested and I'm negative for anything, you know, like COVID or anything like that. So I'm fine but it's just it's like lingering it won't go away. But one thing I didn't mention in the last video was that on my go home leg I actually had a passenger fall on me <laughs> and it was um it was actually kind of scary because i was sitting in my jump seat and this passenger just like stands right in front of me which it happens sometimes passengers they don't really uh I don't, they don't really pay attention or don't care or whatever but they just get like all up in our jump seat and just in our space so i just thought oh, okay whatever i kind of ignored it but i just said excuse me and then he just started to sway and he almost fell on top of me. So I thought he maybe had a little bit too much to drink or something. But then I got up to kind of get out of his way and then I start looking at him and he is not okay. So I start asking him questions and he can't really talk to me. Next thing you know, we're both on the floor because he fainted. And he was this like big dude. He reminded me a lot of like Alex Rodriguez. Uh, just like very tall, just like very athletic. So he was big and we both fell to the floor and I was making sure that he didn't hurt his head or anything like that because that would have been a whole other issue. And on the way down, um, I did hurt myself a little bit, but I'm fine. But we actually had to get medical personnel involved. Thankfully we had a doctor and they took his vitals and everything was fine. He just ended up having like glucose things. Um, like glu glucose problems so after a while he came to and we were able to help him and you know everything was fine in the end but it was pretty scary because it took a while for him to respond to us so I don't know I'm just glad everything was fine at the end I was going by so fast and I have so much to do so much stuff to get rid of I'm selling things I'm donating things I feel like the time for us to move is gonna come by so fast and next thing you know we're gonna be moving out of this place which makes me really sad to move out of this place because i love living here but it's gonna be time to go pretty soon so i'm gonna finish getting ready and then i'll talk to you guys in a bit and let's see what we get ourselves into today message from my sister-in-law she's traveling using my buddy passes right now 
and she's going to LAX and she had to connect through Houston and Houston is having really, really bad weather. So they've been stuck on the plane for about 30 minutes because it's not safe for like ground personnel to be out and like doing what they're supposed to do and like tow the plane in and all that stuff. So hopefully she makes it on the next flight. I'm a little worried now, but I hope it's okay. She is, like I said, using one of my buddy passes and my dad is traveling today. So I gotta make sure that everybody makes it on their flights. One of the things I like about being a flight attendant is not only that I can use benefits for myself, but my family can use them as well. So my flight benefits get extended to my husband, my kids, and my parents. If for some reason my parents never used the flight benefits, then I could give it to a step parent or my in-laws. And then you also get the buddy passes, which those aren't free. You still have to pay like a small fee and then there's like taxes and stuff uh, that go along with that. But still, it's a nice way to be able to help out your friends and family when they need a pass. And you get a certain amount of passes every single year so that you're able to gift them like I said. All right, it's a lot later and I started sorting through everything, looking through what's going to stay with us, what's going to go with us and all that, just separating everything. And I have everything here. Let me show you guys what the room is going to look like and it's driving me crazy because I can't stand this. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I have toiletries, PR stuff that I'm taking with me. Um, and then this is donations that is going with us. I still have to fill this up, my level eight bag. I love this suitcase so much. And yeah, so this is going to drive me crazy, this right here. But I know it's part of the process. So anyway, we are gonna go downstairs, Leo and I, and have some lunch because we're both a little bit hungry. I also had to stop doing this because I had a meeting with a brand. So I had to jump on that call very, really quickly. I feel like today's going by so fast. Okay, and I also got my turn bag ready. This is, well, I'm getting it ready. I have my charger and some electronics in here, some cables. I have my cabin shoes, my apron. I have to add my work iPad and an extra change of clothes just in case we get stuck. It's just a turn, but you just never know. I also forgot to tell you, I haven't told you guys. So when I told you guys that we were moving to Spain, I told you that I didn't know what I was going to do for work because the consulate was gonna take our passports. So they did end up taking our passports. So I had to call a supervisor and let them know what the situation was, like that we're applying for a visa and that I don't have my passport on me. So they just put me on domestic restriction, meaning I can't travel international. So until I have my passport, then I can have uh, um, international trips, which is funny because all my trips this month were international. They were to Bogota, Colombia. So I had to get removed from those and pretty much rebuild my line. So tomorrow I was supposed to have a Bogota turn, but I'm going to go to Louisville, I think. I think I have to double check. All right, so it's a lot later. George is having a boys' night with his friends. And I've been asked in the past, does your husband ever get any time to himself? Because I show myself, you know, going on trips and having girl time and stuff. But yes, he does. I just don't post about it online, like especially like in real time, because I'm not going to post that he's like gone and I'm home alone with three kids, you know. But uh, right now he is out with his friends. So the boys and I are going to go have a little night out ourselves. We're going to go get some ice cream. There's a place called Nitrogen something around here, but it's like Nitro ice cream. So we're going to go try some out and see how it is. It's a new place that just opened here. And then I'm going to come back and then get ready for my trip and try to go to sleep early. So it is the next day. I actually ended up calling in sick from work because I cannot stand the sinus headache. I've had this headache since yesterday. I think I mentioned that yesterday, I don't remember. But I've taken Tylenol, I've taken medicine and it doesn't go away. And my eye has been twitching for like two weeks so I don't know what is going on with me. So I definitely have to make sure to take it easy because flying with anything sinus related is not fun at all. Like it's just, you just don't do it. Try not to do it if you can. Call in sick if you have the sick hours, whatever. Call in sick because sinus stuff is no joke when you're flying. So yeah, um, I called through scheduling early this morning and I told them that I was calling in sick for my pairing. So 
a lot of you guys are probably going to want to know what happens, right? For some airlines, you get points. So you pretty much get a certain amount of points for every sick call. And once you get to a certain number, then you get like a warning. And then after that, you get more warnings. And then you have to have like a meeting with the supervisor and see what's going on. That's why it's very important to save your sick days for when you really need them. Especially when you first start. When you first start, it's a whole different story. Like when you're on probation, it's a lot more strict for you to call in sick. So what happened to my pairing, right? So they have, uh, airlines have reserves. So re a reserve is pretty much waiting from a certain time to a certain time to get called in case anything happens. So since I called in sick, whoever was next on the reserve list got called. Yeah, I was replaced and this person is now working a trip for me. So hopefully they were willing to work and they were wanting to work. If not, I feel really bad. I'm telling you, it's like a pressure like right here that I feel. So I probably need to just like lay down and not do anything because these last few weeks have been crazy. All right, it's the next day and I'm feeling much better. I don't have a headache anymore. I still feel congested and my eyes still twitching. So I think I'm gonna have a magnesium drink tonight. I always have it, well not always, I try to have it as often as I can. It's like that sleepy girl cocktail drink that went viral. It's just magnesium and tart cherry juice and some sort of sparkling water. So I'm gonna have that tonight and see if that helps because I posted about it on Instagram and some of you guys were telling me that your eye twitching may be that you're missing magnesium in your diet. So maybe that's what I need. So I'm gonna try that and I'm gonna try to stay consistent for the next few days so hopefully it goes away because it is driving me crazy and it's worse at some points of the day, like some po some parts of the day, like I won't feel it, it won't twitch, and then it'll twitch for like an hour, like not straight obviously, but like every few seconds for like an hour or two, so it gets really annoying. But um, we ended up going to church today, and then we had a few things, a few people come over to buy things because we are trying to get rid of as many things as we can so that we're able to not only make some money but also get rid of these things because we will actually have to replace some of these things once we get to Spain. But I'm gonna take some time right now to start packing a few things. I'm telling you, I'm trying to take any time that I have to do that. So I'm going to pack some clothes into my level eight suitcase i am partnering up with them once again i absolutely love working with level eight i love their suitcases they're so sturdy such good quality i love the design we always get compliments when we use any of our level eight suitcases we have two of the big ones and then we also have some carry-ons that we take with us when we travel so george will take them when he goes on business trips and stuff like that so this one i like the fact that because even though it's the bigger one it also has the 360 spin feature so it makes it very easy to get through the airport without having to pull it you can just push it and then if anything i can have the kids kind of help me with it so in case i need some help it also has the tsa friendly lock right here so in case they ever need to get into your suitcase they're very spacious too i have been able to pack a lot of stuff in here when when i went to spain on my last trip I had it jam packed and it's so lightweight so it doesn't really add a lot of weight to your overall weight limit that you need for when you go to the airport. This is what the inside looks like. It's double sided which I like. I prefer those because I feel like you can fit more and it has this little strap to keep everything compacted and just together. It has these two pockets so you're able to store things. I like to store like undergarments, a hat, cat, uh, socks in there. And the other side is pretty much exactly the same. So I'm telling you, you're able to fit a lot. I've been able to fit a lot of things in the suitcase. So I'm going to leave a link in the description box down below for you guys to be able to get your hands on these level eight suitcases. I'm telling you, if you're looking for really good quality, sturdy suitcases that also look really nice, check out level eight. There's a reason why this is the third time or, or fourth time actually that I'm partnering up with them. I absolutely love their stuff. So again, check the description box down below for the link so you guys are able to get your hands on one of these and thank you to level eight for sponsoring a portion of this video. So I'm gonna get to packing, it's 3.30 and we still have plenty. I feel like today is going by really slow. We have done so much, but it's we still have a good chunk of the day to go. And then we're gonna do bedtime with the boys, bath time and all that. And I'm also doing laundry, by the way. I'm also doing laundry. 
I'm so glad I don't have the headache because that headache was very debilitating. So like I said, I still feel the congestion. I still kind of feel it in my throat, but I don't have the headache. I cannot function with that headache. It was my day off anyway. I wasn't supposed to work today or anything. So this is what I had planned to do anyway. Had I had that headache still, I wouldn't have been able to do all this. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So we're making dinner right now and watching the F1 race. Well, George is, I'm listening to true crime while I make dinner. He's making some burgers right now. I'm going to make some ground beef, kind of like a taco bowl. And I'm gonna have with um, these chips right here. I prefer the lime ones, like the green ones, but these are really good too. And then the boys like these, so this just adds like protein, like extra protein to this. And then we're gonna add sour cream and some avocado, some cheese. And that's pretty much one of my go-to lazy dinners when I don't feel like making anything crazy. I just finished taking a shower. I desperately needed to take a shower and wash my hair. It feels so much better. I'm also doing my skincare right now. Boys are downstairs with George. They're watching a movie and I decided to just take this time to come upstairs and take an everything shower. So after this, we're gonna give the boys a bath and then we're gonna put them to bed. And then once they go to bed, I'm gonna do my lashes. I do the at home lash extensions. I've been doing them for maybe a year, maybe a little less than a year, but I love doing them because they just help me feel a little bit more put together on the days where I'm not wearing any makeup because my eyes are very small. But I have them here in my Cat Eye Cosmetics makeup bag. And I have these two sets that I always use. I, also, I usually alternate between the two. This, these are by Ardell and these are by VI's Beauty. And I just got some new glue to try. And these are the ones that you just put like underneath your lashes. You don't put them on top, you just put them underneath your lashes. And it took me a while to know how to use them, honestly. But after I got the hang of it, I actually really enjoy putting them on. And I do them maybe once a week and they last me like three to four days. It just depends on how careful I am with the lashes. But anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This video was supposed to be completely different. We were supposed to go to work and, you know, talk about more flight attendant stuff, but unfortunately I didn't go to work. I still don't have a headache, which is nice. <laughs> the headache still hasn't come back. Let's hope it stays that way, please. So anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time here and I'll see you guys in my next video.